Welcome to AH Tutorials where we show you how to work on cars. Today we're going to be working on a trunk latch for 04 to 08 Acura TL. So let's get to it. For this we're going to be using some pretty common household tools. First we're going to be using a Phillips screwdriver. Next we're going to be using a flathead screwdriver. And last, we're going to be needing a ratchet with a slight extension on there, also with a size 10 millimeter socket. The first thing we're going to want to do to take out the trunk latch is we're going to want to remove this carpet piece out of the way. Now, we don't have to take it off all the way. We just want it off enough so that we can swing it down. And the first step we're going to take to take that off is there's a whole bunch of clips here all around. And the way we're going to take that off is we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and we're going to screw out the center portion of the clip first. And after you do that, we can use our flat and we're going to take out the outer portion of the clip. Now if you look here, you can see that the center portion of the clip has a Phillips pattern in there. and so. You're just going to screw it out with your Phillips screwdriver and it just goes in here whenever you put them back in. It goes in that way and kind of creates pressure on the ends of the outer portion of the clip so that it stays in there. So we're just going to go ahead and do that to the rest of them. After we get all those clips out, there's going to be two rubber pieces here on the top. And the way these come out is we're going to have to take out one end first. So for this side, passenger side, we're going to want to take out the passenger end first. You can see it just kind of clips out. Now once you do that, you're going to want to push it this way. And it slides out. You can see here, there's grooves for it. So the way it works, it pushes in, slides, and you can just slide it out. As you can see how that works. Now it's the same thing for the other side. For the driver's side, we're gonna work on the driver end of the rubber piece, the left side. And then we're just gonna push this this way. And that comes out like that too. After you take out these rubber pieces, we're going to want to take out this plastic piece up here. And we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver. And if you follow me over here, there's a screw that we're going to need to take out. Now after you get that screw out, I'm going to pull everything over the latch and we can just swing this down. And after we swing this down, you're going to reveal the latch and there's going to be two bolts right here and here. We're going to take our ratchet with the size 10 socket on there and we're going to take these two bolts out.
Now after we take those two bolts out, we're going to want to take this plug out. And the way this plug comes out is there's a tab right here on the bottom. And we're just going to push that down and we're going to pull at the same time. After we do that, there's going to be a cable here and we're going to want to push this cable out of its spot. And we can just push it up and pull the wiring out. Now once we do that, we're going to want to rotate the latch this way. And once you do that, it's going to slide out. Now we're just going to put it back in to show you how that's done. It's the exact same way it came out, you're going to want to rotate it, put it in. This cable, I'm going to push it back, push the cable back in its spot. And for the plug, same thing, I'm just going to push it in. After you have all the cables and wires in its spot, we're going to push the holes and make sure it lines up with the threading. And we're going to take the ratchet with the size 10 socket on there and we're just going to screw these back in. Now you don't want to put it in all the way. You want to put it in loosely first so that you can match up all the holes and you don't get anything f confused. You can see there's still room for me to move it. And after you get that, then you want to tighten it. We have everything in its spot. Next we're going to be putting all this plastic cover back on, this carpet cover. And the way that works is right here, this plastic piece has two holes for it to go into. So we're gonna wanna make sure these two tabs fit into these two holes nicely. <clears throat> After everything looks good in place, we're gonna take the rubber pieces and it doesn't matter which one because they're both interchangeable and we're going to fit, the, fit these two into these holes first and then we're going to slide it over and then we can push the last end of it in. And it's the same thing for the other side. Now after we do that, we can get our Phillips screwdriver and we can put the screw in that was here previously. Now after you do that, we're going to put all the clips back in. And the way that works is we're going to put the outer portion in first. We're going to stick that in there. And after you do that, we're going to get the center portion. And we don't need the Phillips screwdriver because it's just going to push in like that. And just go ahead and do that for the rest of them. After you do that, you have all the cover on, you have everything else done, it looks nice, you just replaced it, everything should work good, and there you have it. Thanks for watching.